everyone, welcome to another experimental <laughs> uh, how to clean copper pots here at the Chateau de Colomb. Um, well, I hope you, you enjoy uh, this because I'm trying two different products. I have tried ketchup. It, it does work um, a bit, but not really. So um, don't waste your time. You would have many applications. It takes a long time, um, although it's the remedy that people know not a good one. I'm going to try two different uh, products. One, um, I would assume everyone has in their kitchen, salt and vinegar. I use apple cider vinegar for today. And the other uh, thing I'm using is Barkeeper's Helper. And let's see which one does actually better. I have here two pans that are similar enough. They both are slightly tarnished. None, none of them are horribly burned on or with uh, a lot of stuff on them but I have done that uh, in another vlog and um, it was uh, really interesting. <clears throat> you can also use here in France we have spray vinegar cleaner. Uh, this is just water, thin water uh, vinegar uh, which is nice because um, it's easy to use. Oh, because it comes already in a spray bottle. It's easier than pouring. In any case, so on this left one, I'm using Barkeeper's, uh, yes, Barkeeper's friend, not helper, just a friend. And I'm going to put some on there and see what that does. Let me remove this. So I'm going to apply that. Liberally, I would say, because it's cleaning, right? And I can see the tarnish is, uh, the tarnished areas are clearing up. And you see where there are a few grease spots because that's where it does not vanish. So it's a product you need to buy and I'm letting this sit because it needs to be fair, right? So I'm going to do that with the vinegar and salt mixture. Just quickly rinsing my hands. So I don't have any of that on there to change the results. Okay. Second one. This is just vinegar. Now we're applying salt. And salt in this case is the abrasive when you rinse it off. And again, I can already see very quickly the change here. And I let them both sit for a while and we'll see five minutes how they look then. Okay, so this has been about five minutes um, and I have not actually scrubbed anything here. Uh, so this is the salt and vinegar pan. And this is the barkeeper's Friend, uh, so uh, I still need to scrub. There are this here at the bottom. That's something that has uh, might be butter or uh, oil. So that is not uh, a fair comparison because the other one didn't have that. But uh, all things considered. You see, I'm still having to scrub and with the vinegar and salt pan, I did not have to do anything, really. That is, uh, it is a bit shocking how such a simple Two component cleaning 
solution is really a fantastic solution for, for your household. I'm just going to rinse this off. Now you should afterwards uh, wash the exterior or whatever the vinegar was uh, with water, soapy water, dish soap and water, just to make uh, the reaction of the vinegar stop. You don't want this to continue. Okay, there's salt stuck here. Okay. Drive them each off. Number two. Okay, so here we go. Left is the apple cider vinegar and salt. Oh, um, sorry. I forgot the salt container. Two components and uh, washing off. Beautiful result. Uh, on the right, the barkeeper's friend. So on the left, that was maybe, I don't know, 10 cents, 15 cents. On the right is a product you have to buy uh, for quite some uh, money. Um, they're not cheap, but both work. Uh, I'm much more impressed with uh, vinegar and salt. So there we go here from the Chateau de Colombe our tips on how to clean your copper.